people man it's the three pointers tv myself the tease on my jews here at the box park right there yes big up dubs man holding the cams marty yeah, yeah, yeah. not not back to the future yeah, yeah marty yeah marty. Ma not marty from back <laughs> yeah you're good yeah. Uh, how you doing man great man great and um yeah. thanks for having us back on man it's great to link up with you after the leicester game last week and um yeah get involved with this channel now and uh yeah start start doing some bits mate yeah How thank you, you. yeah no, i'm good i'm good but listen let's get straight into it mike because yeah. we got a big game well it's a for me every game is a big Bournemouth, game newly promoted scott parker manager what's your prediction first of all Okay, so the, the interesting thing about Bournemouth is they're an interesting proposition. Their pre-season started well and didn't end too well. And then obviously they came out, got a win against Villa, 2-0. That was a really good result. Villa, they're a big club, let's be honest. We've had to move, man. We've had to move, man. I'm outside Box Park. Yeah, Croydon. Yeah, shouts to all the people that love to, you know, get jiggy with it, you know. Have a nice little eats and all of that stuff. But yeah, so what were we saying, Marty? We were I was talking about it being a big game. Scott Parker, newly promoted side. Um, they, you were saying that they got a good result against yeah, Aston Villa. Yeah, fantastic result. I mean, against a good, you know, solid Aston Villa, good Premier League side, managed by Steven Gerrard. You can never fault them for their work rate. That's one thing. Arguably, we sold probably one of the best goalkeepers in the world, orthodox goalkeepers in the world, to them in Emilio Martinez, a big guy classic goalkeeper stands up doesn't make a lot of mistakes holds the ball well D you know his distribution isn't as good as you know maybe a, a Ramsdale or etc but look is that sorry is that Martinez calling you right now after <laughs> after that nice little <laughs> no oh, oh, right. <laughs> and you know they're um you know they're, they're, they're a hard they're a hard, hard work inside but you know back to Bournemouth again you know, they. the thing is, is they got flattened by Man City, which a lot of teams do. Their goalkeeper kept him in it for a good period of time. It was a matter of when they broke down the walls and they got broken down and then the floodgates opened and it could have been more. But that is, a, that is a, an experienced Man City, a Premier League Man City winning side that are, you know... Um, you know, that will take teams like that apart. We're going to the Vitality. You know, it's not a, it's not a massive stadium. It's not a huge crowd. It's not a particularly... You know, I wouldn't say a scary place to go for it for a side. We are a young side, and I would expect definitely a two to four nil win or a three one. Something screams three one, and you know it's going to be an interesting game. Anyone can beat anyone in the Premier League, and that's what the Premier League is about, essentially. Yeah, I, I was just going to say, uh, uh, Marty, because don't you think? How, how do you reckon Bournemouth are going to set themselves up? Do you reckon they're going to like you know? Shut, you know, try and sort of like part the bus, basically. Yeah, they're going to shut the, they're going to shut the gates, and they, they, you know, they know that we're going to come at them. There's, there's no way, there's no way. The front attacking options they've got, it's, I don't think I'd be very surprised if they think right, we're going to take the game to them and 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 try and outscore us because they just haven't got the firepower to do that, and that's the truth. But at the back, they are set up well, and they can shut us out, and then it will be a case of potentially counter attacking us or us making a mistake, and that's the way they're going to look or a set piece to try and slip in but the thing with set pieces is since bringing Salibur in we've got that aerial um, ability which we didn't previously had yes we did with with Gabriel but now you know if you see where um, Saliba makes most of his interceptions it's in the air you know he's a big guy he's strong that player that drops off picks the ball and reads the game from defense to at attack that transition yeah. I was just gonna um, say you, you do realize um, if, if Arsenal do go on to win this game um, <laughs> that would be three three games on the spin that we've yeah. won. When, when was the last time that we did that? Do you know? Do you know what? Actually, I don't. I don't. I know the last time we lost three in a row. Does it, does <laughs> does it, if anybody knows, season, the invincible season. <laughs> That's how long I've been waiting for it. <laughs> well, there you go. If anybody knows, please leave a comment. If you do know, leave a comment, Same. right? Yes, if you do remember. You know, the last time Arsenal won three games in a row in their opening start of the season. Let us know. Leave a comment. Um, as I was just about to ask you, Marty, just before we close things up, um, do you reckon Arsenal 
is it too early to say that you know Arsenal actually going to leave a massive statement if they do go on to win this third game like in a row? Especially if we, you know, if it's a clean sheet and it's convincing. It's a, if it's a convincing win. So my, my mindset with Arsenal, and it always has been, is personally no disrespect to Bournemouth. They're a Premier League team. As I say, anyone could be beaten. Arsenal should be going there and smashing them. Arsenal are a top, top world club. End of situation. They always have been, and they always will be. They are that top draw club. And thinking going to Bournemouth is it going to be a hard? This is a team that's just been promoted from the Championship. Don't get me wrong, they're not a bunch of mugs, but we should be going there and serving it to them on a dinner. Now, if we're even thinking about Champions League football, personally, I think we have the squad where we should be challenging for the Premier League title. We shouldn't be looking for top four. I hear a lot of people, they're talking, oh, yeah, if we get top four, that'd be good. What? Are you actually serious? I totally um, agree. We should be looking at getting the, winning the Premier League and winning that Europa League. Tell me we do not have the team or the squad to do it, because we do. We do, and from what I've seen on them, they, they look, you know, they're fine. And we, we could suffer a few injuries, that's always been our problem. As I said in the last video, the back, we've got the depth in the defence, we've got the midfield depth, and we've got two proper goal scorers in Jesus and Enketia. They are, they're goal scorers, they will stick goals away. And even at this stage in the season, Jesus, in all competitions, has scored as many goals as Lacazette did all season last year. Yeah, now, you did mention that. Stat. That's it. We're, we're, we're talking, we're a couple of games in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I could see a player like that going to Bournemouth and absolutely walking all over him, and that's what we should be doing. End of situation. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for that. Listen, man, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. It's the Free Players TV. We are out. Peace. Come on, peeps. What were you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to the Free Pointers.